So guys, on a Sunday morning, nice and cool outside. It's actually cold. But this is the Bang's E30 325. And this is one of the original survivor vehicles. It's a very, very, very nice car. Uh, the Bang's changed the wheel and he's put his lens on there. Uh, this is for his taste, his change of pipes. He's gone with a bit of, a bit of bigger pipes. But this is his baby. And this car came to me early in the year, I think. And I went crazy for it because it's got all the characteristics of a survivor vehicle. So it's got your small scratches here and there, which is, I prefer the characteristic scratches. However, the bonnet has been worked on before because we, we believe that the car was standing for a while. But either than that, this here is one of the most cleanest cars or survival vehicles that I've seen. So, if you look at this car, right, this, you can see how clean this car is. But it needs some love. It needs some love. So, if you look at, for example, here. This is overspray. So, this is where guys just don't tackle properly. So, what we'd like to do is we just like to clean the car up a bit. Even though it's a survivor car, the guy is meant well by just giving it a blow over. And this was before Bang actually got the car. Uh, they wanted to give the car a blow over and just freshen it out, which is not a bad thing, but it has to be done properly. So anyway, there's some there's some areas on this vehicle that need some love and attention. But when I say love and attention, I mean minor love. Uh, what we are going to do here is we're going to freshen the vehicle up as well. But we're not going to go the full Monty of uh doing powder coating and all of that we'd like to maintain the original look of the vehicle so what we are gonna do is maybe like a small things like these nuts and bolts here we'll just get them refreshed up properly uh the earth terminal here the bonnet brackets the clutch fluid bottle bracket your uh size 10 i say there's the wrong nuts on here so we'll get that freshened up nicely we'll get the correct ones on and then we'll have them gold plated not gold plated sorry but, uh electro plated and then these yeah this is wrong so we'll get this here seen too and just get it looking original and nice and clean the brake booster we'll get this into here uh, we'll find out if it is yellow uh or black gold or black and then we'll go with that so basically just give it a light fresh up like here get the two the four grommets back on here we just really want to sort that out we don't want to do anything major on this vehicle uh, then the one thing that we are going to touch on is the power steering so in the previous i think it was a silver car that i showed you guys that we use the e36 racks so knowing that these cars are becoming very scarce uh parts are becoming scarce for them the steering racks finding them is such an issue at this point in time because you don't know what you're looking for what you're finding so what we are going to do is we're going to look at getting a e36 brand new rack in for him and then i'm going to do the slight mod so it's a very slight model like i showed you guys before with the just the two pipes and then the spaces on the mounting points and we're going to run that rack in for him so it's coming in for that and it's coming in for some maintenance work so basically we're going to go through your suspension we're going to check your arbors your bushes and just do maintenance so we're not really redoing anything on this vehicle we're just running maintenance on it uh maybe just the sunroof rubber for example this here just to freshen this guy up like i say this here is a don't uh it is a survivor vehicle so we don't want to play around with it and we don't want to mess up anything of the sort we don't also want to open up a can of worms and we don't want to disturb anything that is originally there so this boot area look here everything is here everything is here so these clips here i'm gonna try and get these the correct clips in here for him for his battery tray sorted out the two kit is done so everything is here but we'd like to get everything cleaned out as well uh this this man this is his baby this is his pride and joy and the bang's car i've taken a huge liking to this vehicle so i might even do these guys here for him as well clean out here nicely and do these guys up here clean out here so okay so besides for the maintenance work that's coming in on this vehicle right uh you can see the car is now parked here the car wash. so this here is basically radical inks wash and detail center and the detail center is going to open up 
hopefully by the end of the month. The wash is operational at, the, at this point in time. But the detail center is going to open up by the end of the month. And it will be a full-on Maguire's detail center. So we will be we currently we're only using Maguire's but we will only be stocking Maguire's we've had a meeting with them this week already we've signed up with them we are an authorized dealer and we're looking forward to that because it's yes we send cars in for painting we send cars in for uh, the body for paint stripping and all of that crap and we leave it to everybody else to do our cut and polish but I think now is the time that we actually take it upon ourselves and learn the different variations of paint of the bonding of what happens with cutting and polishing and detailing as such so as you know the restorations is a detail on its own that's on another level for example look at this here this here was overspray so this here will get cleaned out it'll get made original black with the bolts and everything done that's the detailing i'm talking about so yes the restoration shop is one side but the detailing center is, a, is another section of it but the two complement each other in such a way that i think it'll work out well so this car will basically it's going to get washed up now so we're going to do an engine wash on it we're going to do a nice clean up on it now first so we can see the areas that we need to tackle instead of just taking off and then doing what we think is right let's first clean up go through everything first uh let's see what look we have and then we take from there the only thing that i think i am going to powder coat is the air box i'm just going to freshen that guy up but i'd like to get into i would like to i would like to keep this car original as original as possible uh the other thing is we are going to try some paint correction on this vehicle so with the mcguire's uh, late on in the later episodes i will be showing you we'll pull the car into the detail center we'll have different lighting up on it and I'd like to revive the color of this car, revive everything else. So, meaning that the wheels will come off, for example. We'll be tackling into the wheels and cleaning up as far as possible. We'll do an undercarriage cleanup. We'll do an interior cleanup. Uh, here, quickly. And on the other side, I want to show you. So, we need to see what is going on here. Although, this is characteristic, but it is a bit irritating. So, this here. And it's on the other side, like these scratches here. So a while back I told you that our chroming kit is coming in. I told you that our chroming kit is coming in. This was especially for the triple trees. So I think that I'm gonna tackle the chrome on this guy as well. So even though this is characteristic, I don't know if you can see this with the camera here. But these are the normal scratches that we find on the chrome drum and this is quite irritating. So I'm gonna change I'm gonna change this chrome trim for the for the bank but i think i'm actually gonna try and re-chrome all of these for you and then we're just gonna go through here and see something is something is going on here so i never has painted before and not done right anyway for this guy here i've got we found a powder coating solution uh where we can go with a nice matte black it's supposed to be satin but the matte black powder coat is actually close very close to a satin so i'm gonna try that on here and that'll be part of our detail center as well so it's not only just cut and polish and get the paint corrected nicely uh, it's fixing everything else it's fixing everything else up that we need to get done so yeah this is the first video i'm doing of this vehicle hey, sorry i almost hit a i almost got a nice fall yeah this is the first video we're doing of this vehicle stay tuned for the next episodes i will be doing uh i'll try and do a nice documentary or a nice video on the steering rack a more in-depth to help those who have steering rack issues as well to show you how simple it is and i might try and put a package together for it so stay tuned please like subscribe and share our channel uh stay tuned for the updates and yes let's take it from there So we've given her a nice clean off, uh, just call it a pre-wash before we started working on her. Obviously the Maguire is doing what the Maguire does, this guy is shining and this is just a basic wash that we've given her up today but we've also done an engine wash on it. So as I told you before, we just wanted to do the engine wash so we knew exactly how far to go with this vehicle. So, 
we didn't we didn't use any of the polish on the black or any black now or we didn't treat the black in any way right because we want to see what we need to get to as well so you can see the airbox needs to be done airbox so we'll do the airbox we'll do the clips around there i'll get the airflow meter polished up but i don't really want to mess around with the sticker here so we'll just get the, the aluminium side of it clean up nicely uh okay now you, this is where i need some help and maybe advice or maybe just your point of views on the intake and tappet cover what do we do on this vehicle do we keep it the way it is because we've really scrubbed it but these are stains they don't really want to come off and i don't think that they are going to come off so i'm just going to zoom in here a little bit and you can see here this is it's like very stubborn aged stains in it so you, what's your thoughts on this year what's your thoughts what's your ideas what do you guys think what do you, what 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 do the audience prefer uh obviously i will speak to the owner himself and get his take Otherwise, maybe the other option is we remove it, we remove it from the motor, we, so we disassemble it and we try and do a vapor blast on it. Maybe that's another option. Maybe we do a vapor blast and then we try and do a clear coat and see how that works out. So again, we're trying to keep it as original as possible. We don't, I don't really want a powder coat on it. I don't really want a powder coat. So I think maybe a vapor blast might be an option. The sandblast, if we use a sandblast, it's going to leave it at the dry finish and then the dirt residue into that is another problem. So you, once you sandblast it, you can't really um, rinse it off and then do a clear coat. They don't really come out that well. So a vapor blast, I think, will work much better. So, guys, anyway, that's you know what we want to do, yeah? I'm asking for your advice, uh, for your input as well. What do you think we should do? Give it some thought. Uh, communicate with us let us know and yeah like subscribe and share our page uh, the youtube channel i will be updating all the time so before we start with it try and give me some input let me know what you guys think and let's try and make a decision